Hello everybody, I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson. We have a cold front making its way through. One or two storms tonight could be strong. Let's track them for you in this abbreviated version of Hutch's weather beginning right now. Now, a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson, brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. All right, a couple of things to note. With the cold front, we're going to see some cooler, drier air making its way into the valley, but this future radar does tell the story of these showers and thunder showers that will be pushing through. Now, the low pressure center located in Manitoba crossing into uh, Ontario as we head into the evening hours, there will be a line of thunderstorms that could develop along, and we'll see locally heavy rain. One or two of these storms may become marginally severe, just kissing the, the chance of some one-inch hail here and there and some gusty winds approaching about 60 miles per hour possible, but not widespread. By the time we get to 10 o'clock, these storms are moving through the Southern Valley and off into the arrowhead of Minnesota. This activity you see here, not a chance of that being severe. Northwest winds rushing through will bring cooler air as we head into your Wednesday morning. As high pressure sets up, looks very quiet for your Wednesday in the forecast period as we go in. And it does look like we'll see abundant sunshine and that quiet and cooler weather, particularly in the morning hours, will be delightful for an event I hope to see you at. You can find more details about a big two-day event put on by Gate City Bank. Head on over to gatecity.bank forward slash 100 to find a location near you, as well as more details on exactly what is going on. I look forward to seeing you uh, right here in Fargo across the street from the mall at the Village West location. That's between noon and two on Wednesday. I hope to see you there. For now, that's a look at the track and timing of storms. Let's take a quick peek as well as what's going on with this smoke because it's been a little smoky out there in the valley today. This smoke will shuffle, shuffle off to the east with the passing cold front, but we are not done. Heading into your Tuesday morning, even thicker smoke will return behind it, mixing down and northwest winds ushering in. Some choking smoke with even higher levels than we've been experiencing today possible from the Red River Valley counties, including Grand Forks, Crookston, and Points North through the afternoon. Heading into the evening hours, this will sag potentially down into the central Red River Valley out toward Duluth. So some choking air in the forecast as well. Thanks again for your trust and thanks so very, very much to each and every one of you who have sent prayers and thoughts of concern with the passing of my mom. I will be in a reduced capacity as far as my number of videos go this upcoming week. So thank you for your understanding in that. For tonight's storms, you can get information wherever you can as to whether or not the storms become severe. There'll be a small chance of that. Remember, you can head over to hutchesweather.com for details. For now, I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Thanks for joining me. And again, thanks for all of your thoughts, prayers, and concern for my family and myself. All right, that's it. We'll talk again soon. You're watching here. Follow on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, and have a wonderful Monday evening.